If you guys are here is because you probably need help to set up your Elgato HD60S capture card that you just bought or that you're thinking about purchasing. Well, that's why I'm here and let's go into the intro and start the video. Hey guys, my name is Willie Rodriguez. I'm here to help you set up that Elgato HD60S capture card. But before we get to that, I just want to remind you to hit that like button if you guys like my video. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell button so you know when my latest videos are out. I'm going to show you a quick video of how I set up the capture card with my PS4 and then we'll continue from there. So the next part is pretty simple. It's uh, all you have to do is just go into your settings. After you go to your settings, you're going to go to system. And you're going to hit right here, uncheck, where it says enable HDCP. All that does is it disrupts the um, signal that it sends to the capture card. So it won't you won't be able to see anything. So once you uncheck that, that's it. We're done with the PlayStation part. Now what we're going to uh, do is just hook everything up. And then from there, we'll go. All right, since now we're done with the PlayStation part, I'm going to show you now how to set it up with the cables and everything. Okay. So this is your capture card. We have the output right here. This is the cable you're going to want to put HDMI to your TV right here. Okay. The one that says output right there. Okay. Then you're going to come over here and this is your other HDMI port. You're in. This is the in port right here. This one goes to your PS4, which is how I have it right here. Go straight to your PS4. And then this cable right here, which is a USB type C that gets connected right here. That's a USB type C. And this part gets connected right there. And then this cable goes into your PC or your laptop or anything like that. And, um, and then that's it. That's all you have to do to connect that into your PlayStation from your PlayStation or to your Xbox or to your Nintendo switch onto your TV monitor and then from your laptop or your PC. So then now while we're done with this, I'm going to show you how it works with the system and um, what stuff you got to download and all that stuff. So let's get to that part. All right, guys. So we went into the PlayStation. We did everything we did there. Then we went, hooked everything all up. Now all we have to do is just download all the software that we need for the capture card. So we're going to go straight into uh, the Elgato.com. It's going to be Elgato.com slash gaming slash downloads. You're going to download uh, the Windows version, which is 3.7. And then once we have all that downloaded, you're going to want to go into the capture card. Before we start it up, we're going to want to go into settings. You want to go click here, input device, should be PS4. If you're running on PS4, if it's Xbox, it's Xbox or Nintendo. Then you're going to want to go into HDMI audio and it's going to be game capture HD 60S. If you want to do the analog audio, analog audio is you're going to want to do that once you have the chat link. Uh, the chat link is used so you can communicate with your party chat while you're streaming. Other than that, if you don't have the chat link, uh, unfortunately with the PlayStation, you can't use the chat. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to use another method that I'll show you with Streamlabs is what you can do other than that. But if you do have the cat chat link, then you're going to want to go into this setting right here where it says analog audio and put that in and then it should work. Other than that, then you just put regular HDMI Go into standard. I play in HD 1080p and everything else. If you want to play with 60 frames per second, then you can do that. Um, practically picture and audio, everything seems to be fine. You don't want to touch any of that. Then you're just going to hit. Okay. There you go. You have your game capture card and now we're going to go into the Streamlabs or whatever software you're using. I personally use Streamlabs, so we'll be going through the Streamlabs. All right. So once you're in here, add a new source, video capture device gonna put in add new source instead you know name it whatever you want video capture device but gameplay one then you would hit add source 
and then that video will come up and then your video should be capturing that's it when it comes to capturing your gameplay now if you want to set up uh, a microphone then it's pretty simple um you're gonna have to go into settings go to audio and then you're gonna want to put right here mic or auxiliary you're gonna click here and you're gonna hit microphone or whatever microphone you're using i'm using the samson click on the samson done and then it should show up there but that's how you set up your microphone all right and then that's it we're done here when it comes to setting up the capture card with uh streamlabs obs so that's everything that we have to cover for today guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to Click that like button, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell button so you know when my latest videos are out. And also, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. The link will be down on the description below. And uh, just follow me there if you guys want to see me and uh, interact a little bit and talk. I'll have the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Peace.